Alright, what's good, y'all? Banjo Kenny here. Back with some more heat. Ain't nobody safe, coach. It don't matter if you're on PlayStation, if you're on Xbox. Um. What's going on, eh, coach? Is it what I think it is? Oh! Alright, let's try again. Alright, what's good, y'all? Banjo Kenny here. Back with some more heat. Ain't nobody safe, coach. It don't matter if you're on PlayStation, if you're on Xbox, especially when I'm my fully partied up look. I'm out here with the one and only spicy combo. But this time they're on the alt account because this were the last few games. It happened to be yesterday, so I'm gonna give you all that video today. But not only that, we got the homie ping with the fox. So we'll see how it goes. But who they got though? Cause I see they got a whole max of all characters. They're gonna try to up a steal the hell out of the fox in the paint. We'll see how it goes. But not only that, they got Janessa and a Chloe. <laughs> ready it's gonna be a little this? bit difficult on defense, but Go. with the three of us here, I think we'll be alright. Oh, Pink doesn't grab the that. rebound. The Janessa goes for a dunk, but that's fine. Because that's what? Ready? A two point shot. And I'm out here with the rim for that challenge. Look at that free layup. Max thought he was a back blocker. <laughs> that's flying block. Yes. That's not no shadow block. Come on now. And why the hell is Janessa making creeper noises? Every time you bumper, that's just silly, man. That's funny. Up those we on that? Come on, now you underneath the rim. Yeah, shake hand all you want. Two handed layup. Wait, how did they even get the layup ready? Did that pump fake count for it? Underneath the rim. Is that what you're telling me? The game is that broken? Come on now, and they're reaching. I probably could let that fly, but the help was there. Either way, that's a shot right there. Bang. That's what I'm talking about. Ready? But like I said, it was spicy combos last day yesterday Shake gaming. So it was kind of a farewell tour. We got some that matches in, so if y'all see more clips of spicy combo, nice then it'll be from that day. Other than that, I'm trying to get those out the way, and then that'll be it, you know? Ready? They're pretty much retired. You know, so I appreciate Check. all the games that we had, all the content. But sometimes, you know, the game does get to a point, as you guys know. They could easily go in one direction, but the game is going in a whole other direction right now. And, you know, I can see people's frustrations with it and why they don't want to play no more. It makes perfect sense. Because there's no reason why you should be dropping so much damn money. It's not even like it's a guarantee, right? It's a chance for anything in this game. So the fact that it's even a chance and not a guarantee, unless you really, like, just get boxes that have some stuff that's guaranteed, then... It's just a large cause at that point, you know? Shooting for three. Nice There's not much of a grind. Is gonna be key. At least it's not incentivized, right? Because they don't want you to just grind this all day. They don't want you to just pay What's it gonna be? your way to the top. Look at that block. Get that 200 layup out of here. We on that. Let's go. But like I was saying, bottom for three, bang. But yeah, it makes perfect sense, you know? I don't blame them. There's been times where I thought the same way. But you know, I am a content creator after all, and this is my main game. Um, of course, if something else takes off, then I'm gonna have to consider that, you know. Um, but for the most part, I'll be here. In the meantime, at least. But like I said, if the game does go in a certain direction, I will keep it honest. I will keep it a buck with y'all, you know. So I'm straight up. If something's wrong with the game, I will address it. Oh, solid pass because there's been a lot of stuff wrong with the game, and they refuse to one acknowledge it and two fix it. Ready? Open chance. It's one thing to not fix the bugs and glitches, Check. but the fact they don't even acknowledge it, they don't even care. They just keep pushing updates like it's nobody's business. They don't talk about pass. nothing wrong with the game. They don't even try to fix anything, right? Unless it's extremely egregious and game breaking, and they have to fix it right away. But for the most part. The fact that they let the whole rank play out without even saying anything about the bugs and glitches? Solid they didn't even acknowledge it? Oh no, they're blocking that. But that's in! Get him out of here! Block that! That's why I run block resist. Stop playing. But like I was saying, it does get to a point. Especially with the P7 character because what are you really getting? Besides the intensive stats, what are you really getting with a P7? You're not going to get a skill. You're not getting no passives. All you gain is move, plus huh? one attributes and nice point two boost for over sixty thousand coin. 
because it's 60,000 for each upgrade, and if you want a specific upgrade, it's gonna take you a few upgrades to get there. Look at the passing, the ball movement. Oh my goodness. That's how you play basketball right there. You don't just screen and take a whole bunch of twos. No, you actually move the ball around and look for a good shot. And it happens to be a three. Look at that. That's how you play basketball. Every time I see that screen two stuff, it's cringy. But that's just me. But that's just me. You want to play that boring play style? And barely scrape out wins because you got to rely on stops? All right. But when the other team starts bombing threes, I'm telling you, it's going to be a long night trying to catch up with two. Ready? But here we go. One by three. Check. I got to uh -huh. switch to the Ayla. Nice and pass. they're jumping. Oh, they're double jumping. That's crazy. And they're cross. But I'm a pump fake because somebody's open. Look at the rotations. Come on now. They can't guard everybody. Once the help defense is there, it's over. The breakdown's already happened. Somebody going to be open. Go. Especially in a full party like this. Where everybody's in tune. Ready? Come on now. Look at this. They're pump faking twos. With a Chloe. How embarrassing is this? Taking a little layup. With a premier three-point shooter that gives you three-point distance. At that. Go. Make it make sense, coach. Man. But like I was saying, the way this game is heading is pretty awkward. Because for P7, you don't get much at all. You get a little plus one attribute, a little point two. For hundreds of thousands of coin. And it's like, is that even worth it? Because in my opinion, it's not. The only thing that's worth it are the intensive stats, of course. But go. come on now. It is not worth spending not one intensive manual, two intensive manuals, and a whole bunch of other books. Trying for just to get to P7. Just to get a plus one attribute and a point two attribute. Come on now. That is just that is the most disrespectful thing I have seen in a hot minute. This game was going in such a good direction. And then they went sideways and they said, let me open up that wallet just a little bit more. But it gets to a point. You can't milk your whole player base dry and expect things to be sweet. Because what happens when a new player wants to come in and have some fun? They can't. It's literally impossible. At this point in time, this game is not new player friendly at all. At all. It'll destroy you, actually. It'll break you down, not only mentally, but your wallet too. It's going to get broken down. Let's believe that. But for the most part, like I said before, I did stop. For the most part, when I got the Ultimate Edition, because once you get that, you don't got to do nothing else, really. But now it's starting to get to that point where you got to do more stuff again. And it gets to a point where, like, Ultimate isn't even... It's not the best option anymore. Because now you got a P7 just to keep up? Come on now. You're losing me, coach. You're losing me. Nice all that for a plus one attribute at that. You see that steal? You know? Keep racking up those assists. And that's why I voice my frustrations with the game because I want the game to do good. I enjoy the game. Clearly, I post it every day. Even though the game has had its ups and downs, guess what? I still enjoy the game and I actually prefer it over 2K. And the reason why y'all don't see me play 2K I haven't played that seriously in a few years. And the reason why is because you spend all this money to build up your character and your my team and whatever else you got to do just for it to all be gone next year. Now tell me, what's the point in that? What's the point of spending hundreds of dollars, possibly thousands, because it takes the whole year, right? Just for you to get reset every single year. I said, nah. Once 2K18, 19 happened, after that, I was like, nah, I'm good. I already spent enough money back to back years, you know? It became not worth it. And that's the same exact route that the game is heading right now. So, I hope Joy City listens. Even though they don't. But I hope they do. Because I want to see the game do good. I don't want them to go this route that they're going right now. Because it's not good for the game. At all. People are going to drop left and right. And new players are not even going to be able to keep up. Leaving the game in an awkward position. But look, hope you guys enjoyed this one, man. I'm out of here. Peace.